Hey, I know we haven't talked for a long time, but I just want to say, if you ever need me, I'm always available. Also, I'm back from the store with the milk and cigarette. My vacation was fine, I just went fishing and caught nothing. I stood up six nights, but not a single fish, unfortunately. It's fine, you win some, you lose some. Wait, something smells really good. Is Calcet cooking? Yeah, we gotta get first bite, let's go. If you've ever watched any of my CC guides, you would know that Nightingale is used in practically all of them at high or max risk because HG loves throwing that one obligatory enemy that does arts damage in permanent maps. I won't bore you with all the information I've already said in all those videos, so let's talk about the more interesting quirks Nightingale has. First off, her module looks pretty plain. The trait change gives her one whole singular tile and the talent upgrades increase her healing effectiveness on all the operators in her range. To sum it up very briefly, level 2 and 3 are basically useless and you shouldn't get them. The extra tile is nice but the usage examples are map dependent so I shouldn't have to point it out for you but just in case here is a side by side comparison of Nightingale healing an operator with no mod versus mod. Holy fuck! Okay. Do you see that operator dying because Nightingale can't reach them? This is absolutely insane bros, this is massive. Alright, if you have Nightingale, level 1 mod is the only thing you're ever going to need. Now, even though her module seems mediocre, there's something truly hidden in it. When you acquire the module, Nightingale gets stat bonuses and attack and arts resistance. 5 res seems a bit, like, whatever, until you realize her S3 will add another 1.5 times that amount, so instead of a 50 arts resistance pot 1 Nightingale with S3 up, you'll have a 62.5 res Nightingale. This extra 5 resistance essentially makes her the ultimate arts damage tank when S3 is on, which is why she's able to withstand, I mean, with sit, so many enemies in CC by herself. That's about it for the mod, so let's move on to the most powerful thing about Nightingale, which are her summons. The cages are just like me for real for real. You bring them into existence and they don't want to be there, feeling the mortal coils slowly but surely sapping away their energy and willpower. If you've ever looked at the stats of the cages, they're extremely tanky with 6000 HP on a max Nightingale. They lose 3% of their max HP per second, and they also have 75 arch resistance, 30% physical dodge, and can't block anything. The cages also have taunt, which makes them excellent bait for ranged attacks, such as this awesome R88 Tallulah 100% damage by yours truly. And it's clear I needed Tallulah to stay alive, because you know, she's my only damage source. The enemies will prioritize Tulula over operators, so simply last deploying someone doesn't work out, which is why cages are absolutely mandatory in this clear. And since I needed so many of her summons for bait, I abused this one simple trick Kyosten V doesn't want you to know. Step numero uno, deploy Nightingale. Step two, retreat Nightingale. Step three, deploy Nightingale. Basically, every time you deploy Nightingale, she'll get two cages, and she carries over the previous amount of cages she had. Just like Woman's Clothing though, Nightingale has no pockets, so she can only store three summons max. She sucks. Okay, I'm joking, she actually has a use. It's being Coomer bait for the r slash arcnuts fans. Okay, okay, for real for real, on pasta, I'll explain why she sucks. While Nightingale can essentially nullify all arts damage, because of how the physical damage formula works, Shining needs to work 3 jobs and 2 overtime shifts in order to invalidate physical damage. Her skill 3 mega buffs the defense of all operators in her range and it slaps more attack on her for more healing. Unlike Shining herself, the physical damage formula is flat, so defense is subtracted from physical attack and that's basically how much damage is dealt. What's even worse is that enemy physical attack can easily scale in CC with the multiplicative tags, while most defense buffs are additive off the base defense stat, and if you have no idea what any of this means, basically enemies scale harder than Iha discovering Uma Musume. But yeah, Shining's defense buff can be used to make some operators awkable, like Schwartz and the Schwartz, I guess. Schwartz is like the only example I can think of without looking at the stats of every operator, but now we have Sculptor, so I guess you can combine the two if you want to Auk buff like Exu. 
or something. I actually used Shining a lot on max risk CC daily maps during Baronland, Pyrite, and Blade because back in the old days we didn't have the new fingled sorters and shelters, so you know, I actually had to tank enemies instead of completely wiping everything off the map with damage. Now Shining's used basically never. It's okay, in 2024 she'll get like an altar or something, and I hate how that statement isn't ironic. Hey Kelt, it smells really good. What are you cooking? The blood of your enemies? Come on, Kelsey, stop joking around. You're joking, right? I don't know, there's not really many interesting things to say about Kelsey either. She kind of just murders everything with her spine demon. If you've used Kelsey, you know how she is. The only thing that is notable about her is that she's actually a decent medic, despite prioritizing herself in monster. If you have some periods where you have Kelsit and no monster in her range, then it's not a bad idea to just rely on her healing. Here's a funny story with Reed Alter. CN released her kit, and I saw the GIF version of her S3 and made the pog face, but in real life. The thing pulled her on my CN account, and I instantly went to LS4 for the slug wave, and that's how the Reed Alter awesome video came to be. Reading the comments on that video though, it seems like a lot of people overrate the damage Reed Alter can actually do on her S3, so. Let's do a little clarification in this section. If you didn't know already, Reed Alter is in the Incantation Medic branch, meaning she attacks enemies and 50% of the damage she's dealt will get converted into healing. Something, something, Karmasis joke, let's beat a dead horse, hilarity ensues. Her first talent gives her RNG to apply a specific status effect that is both an attack debuff and an arts damage amplifier. While it wouldn't be the first debuff to go to for damage amp or attack down, it does both jobs at once, which is pretty useful. The arts damage amp for this specific status effect can be also stacked on top of fragile and serious calcification, so arts damage can go even crazier. Reed's second talent heals herself for 50% of the damage she deals to the enemy. It doesn't sound too useful, but it comes in handy more often than you think. Her third skill allows her to attack two enemies at the same time, and she'll proc that debuff on her talent 1 100% of the time now. During the skill duration, enemies that have the debuff on them take damage over time, and when they die, they explode and deal big AoE damage and debuff all the enemies in that explosion. It's like a virus, except with 500% more arson. Now, that LS4 read alter video? That was a meme. A funny, if you will. I'm sorry for throwing you all under the bus, but if you looked at that video and you thought her damage was absolutely nuts, absolutely insane bro, and that she's broken, you're half wrong. I only say half wrong because Reed Alter is broken in another way, but we'll save that for, you know, another video. The reason why I personally don't think she's the GOAT is that once the enemies start getting to medium arts resistance, Reed just does piss all damage. If you watch any S3 showcase on YouTube, it's probably a map like Chapter 11 where the enemies are low res or the map just spawns a sh ton of them so Reed can actually bank off the explosions. Basically, Reed relies on the explosion for damage and if the enemies have medium res, they're not gonna take much damage from the arts DOT or her attacks and they're not gonna explode. But all you Reed simps, calm down. Hush. Hush. She's a medic and her healing power is certainly enormous with the skill. Just don't expect her to be the new god carry all-in-one must pull batteries included self-learning and provides explosive all over the enemies type operator. Amiya, we can't be eating those tacos. For all I know, I could be eating possessed heavy defender leader remains or something. She was joking? What? How? No, like, genuinely, how can you even tell? Her joking tone is literally the exact same as how she regularly speaks. You know, I think I'll just trust you on this one. 